Jason from the Vinnie Stamps and thank you for joining me for another demonstration today. We're going to stick with our, um, our mask technique using the positive and the negative of um, the circle that I cut out. This is just using a hole cutter. So I'm going to first of all pop that down round about the centre. I'm using two colours. This is Salty Ocean and Ice Spruce. So I'm going to start with the Ice Spruce and I'm going to just start working my way around the edge. Now I'm going to add water to this so I'm not too worried about getting a really smooth finish. So Just work your way around the edge. Okay, and then I'm going to use the ice spruce. Just work your way around as we've done before. Okay, so now I'm going to do the center. So using some torn paper, forget which is which to be honest, but if we want a snow scene we have to remember to put the mask down at the bottom and use your colour up. Yeah, If you want to ground something and you want the colour underneath then you do it this way. Okay, okay so I'm going to pop that down and then using ice spruce I'm just going to blend up and, and then I'm using the twilight and my finger dauber just to get that edge a little bit sharper. Like so. And then I'm going to move that. And just repeat what I've just done. And the finger dauber just to give me a little bit of depth. It's going along the edge of that. So there's our next layer. And then I think I'm going to just do a, a faint one in the background, I think. There we go, that's fine. Okay, let's put the lids back on these. And we're going to use the twilight now and some little trees. We'll go back to our small trees. There's three of these in a pack, but they're all different sizes you can see here. But they're quite handy for background work. 
Okay, so I'm going to go back to my mask again. Um, I'm not going to do that one. I think it's this one I shall do. So I'm going to ink up in the twilight. I'm going to stamp off. And the same here on that side. And then the mountain in the distance, we're going to pick our smaller tree again. Inking up in the twilight. I'm going to stamp off. And there you go. Gives you a really nice effect, doesn't it? Okay. So taking our hair now, I'm going to bob that down on our perspex blocks. So inking up, and this time I'm going to add, because it's in the twilight, I'm going to add a little bit of black as well. see how that one comes out and then I'm going to just bob him down give that a good press let the uh, stamp rest on the card for a while this will give you a really nice sharp image and there we go okay so moving on now, I think I'm going to add a little bit of a, no, I'll put some hills down here, I think. So let's just do one down here. So taking the ice spruce again. Okay, and we're going to grab one of our trees and I'm inking up in the twilight. Going back to the mask. then taking our taller tree but this is the biggest one out the set inking up again in the twilight let's see how that looks that looks quite nice Okay, I'm going to stamp some words along the top here as well. So I'm going to mask that area off. And taking one of our worded stamps, you can use whichever verse you like. I've got here, red leaves fall as silence calls, goodbye autumn, hello winter. I'm going to stamp off So I'm going to add some water to this now over the top. So taking my fan brush and I'm just going to 
pop some water. I'm actually surprised at how clean I've kept my card. Maybe I'm getting better. Maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to heat that up now. And you can already see how it's changing. It's just so effective. And well, let's just dab that off now. I hope you can see that, see how it's all pulled that colour out, but there's like, it's almost like there's a two-tone. Okay, so I'm going to finish off now with a bit of glitter. So we're going to need our glue pen. And then I'm just going to go along the edge of our little hills. And just make it look a little bit more wintry. By adding the glitter. So I'm going to use the holographic, it's got an amazing sparkle in this, it's because it's a very coarse glitter, so the sparkle's quite something, so it's fabulous for Christmas cards. a little bit more than what I wanted but there we go it's very glittery okay so I hope you can see the glitter on that a really fabulous sparkle though well, there you go guys um, thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope it's inspired you to have a go yourself. You know, just have a play about with the masks. It's um, quite good fun. Something completely different anyway. It is for me. Okay, thanks guys. Speak to you soon. Bye for now.